indoctrinated George Bulldog at this point? Yeah, I love it here. Um, obviously, it's, it's two different sides of the totem pole, Miami and Athens, but I love Athens. Um, it's, it's a great place. Um, the team welcomed me with open arms. Coach Smart welcomed me with open arms, and I'm just happy to be here. What were those few sessions like, you know, when you first get in town and you're first sitting down in that wide receiver room? How, if, if overwhelming is it, like, what, what are those like? Can you put us in that room and what you're thinking? Uh, really, for a receiver room aspect, we were just came into mindset, me, Tyler, all the receivers, especially me and Tyler being seniors, um, that it's on us. Uh, we take, well, whether it's, you know, blocking for the running backs, making plays on the perimeter, um, special teams, it's on us. And uh, we come with that mindset that, you know, that it's on us and we come into attack every day like it's a game. When you looked at the Georgia wide receiver situation, when you were looking uh, at a place to transfer to, uh, you know, what was uh, your thoughts on the opportunity and your ability to come in here and, and help out right away? Um, really, honestly, I really didn't even look at the receiver situation. I, um, Coach Coley and Coach Smart called me as soon as I put my name in the portal, and I put my trust in those guys 10 times out of 10. Coach Coley, when he coached me in Miami, and Coach Smart recruited me heavy when I was at being recruited by Alabama. So. I just trusted them, and you're just going to see how it goes. You were recruited to come here, too, and, and uh, did, did you ever visit or anything like that? No, I didn't. I didn't get the chance to visit, but I did get recruited. Coach Rick recruited me. Uh, funny that he came to Miami, but um, so it was kind of like a match made in heaven, I guess. But um, I got I didn't officially get a visit here, but um, I, we, we had a lot of talks. Speaking of Coach Rick, can you kind of compare the coaching styles of Coach Smart and Coach Rick when you were there? Uh, they're two both. Both great coaches, uh, coaching both both great programs, and you know they like to get after it. And like I said, I'm just happy to be here, uh, happy to work here at Georgia now, and looking forward. So you said that Coach Coley he called you and the coach at Miami. I mean, so what's kind of the thing with him is he goes out and. It, Gets guys from South Florida, whether we transfer your situation or high school. So, so how does he kind of connect you guys to the Miami native Miami guy? Yeah, he he's a funny guy. He's a he's very energetic. Um, he's very relatable, and that's his hometown, South Florida. So he attacks that like it's like it's his home, which he should. And he went out. He goes out and gets his guys, and I'm just happy to be here to play for him again. Maybe learns the offense, playbook, everything from, I guess, when he was at Miami. You know, I'm a little, you were there with him. Yeah, it's a little different um, terminology-wise, but, you know, Coach Coley has the same, you know, it's Coach Coley. Um, but influence, he's going to call his plays. We're going to run him, and we're just going to run him effectively. Whether that's run pass, we're just going to do it. What do you remember about him as a play caller during your freshman year? Um, really, I, I'm not really, you know, a guy that says, "Oh, he's aggressive." I don't know. I don't know that, that aspect of the game. That's you know what I'm saying. But I, so I just run the plays um, and run it to the best of my ability. Maybe you evaluate Georgia's receiver situation before deciding to come here. But you come here, and, and you know, according to just about anybody, it's it's one of the team's most unproven spots. So what kind of, you know, what does that do for you? I mean, what is it? Is, Tyler said it's motivation for him. I mean, is it, is it that same way for you, or how do you look at it? Yeah, it's, I think it's motivation for everybody in that receiver room, whether it's me, whether it's Tyler, whether it's the freshman, whether it's the guys who've been here. Um, it's motivation that people think that, you know, it, it's a lack of – I just feel it's a lack of disrespect that they, they're saying that. But, like I said, we take that as fuel. Uh, Coach Hankton has been coaching us. Like, like, I don't know what. Coach Coley has been on us. And, like I said, we've been ready to attack and ready to – Ready to um, ready to ball come game one. Maybe it'll be hard to answer this right now I mean, for, for the season. But what's it like in college to be a grad transfer? It's like in the pros being a free agent, which is not which is common for the pros, but not college. Um, it was a little different recruiting wise. Um, you know, as a as a young recruit, you get into all the facilities. You see the facilities, you're like, oh my gosh. Now it was just. What can I, what can I better myself in being it coming to the next level? Um, you know, looking, at, looking at towards winning, going, trying to win a national championship, trying to win a national championship, trying to get drafted. What, what's the best spot that can put me in that? And I've honestly felt like Coach Coley and Coach Smart here at UGA had the best opportunity. Is it 